Hello everyone, R007 welcomes you at Street of Hacker and today I'm going to show you how to hack window or PC laptop games. First of all, I want to clearly tell you guys that I'm gonna show you how to hack offline games, not online. And we will use a software called Cheat Engine. This video is mainly about hacking games, but we'll see there is quite a bit more to it than just hacking games. So let's go for it. I have divided this video into three parts. First of all, what is Cheat Engine? Second one is how does game works and how Cheat Engine can hack games. And third and last one is main video tutorial that is practically hacking a game. So first of all, what is Cheat Engine? Cheat Engine is an open source tool developed to help you to modify mostly single player games. You can modify your multiplayer games too. So user can make the game harder or easier depending on his preference. For example, if you think that playing any shooting game with 100 bullets is easy for you, then you can make game harder by modifying value of bullets with 50 as a challenge. You can make a game easier by modifying value of bullet with 500. It's up to you how you want to modify the game. Cheat Engine or CE comes with a memory scanner to quickly scan for a variables used within games and allow you to change them. But it also comes with a debugger, deassembler, assembler, speed hack, trainer maker, direct 3D manipulation tools and system inspection tools. That's why the Cheat Engine is the ultimate tool for a mischievous programmer. Anyways, we are not gonna use all of them to make this video simple. If you want to know how does game work and how Cheat Engine can hack games, then continue watching otherwise you can skip directly to the main tutorial part that is third part of this video. If you want to know how does game work and what happens behind the scene when you do anything or any event occur in game, then you have to understand two main things that is function and variables. First of all, function is simply a group of statements or you can say uh, it's a group of commands. If suppose you click on arrow button then a function for movement will be called and update your position according to that function or you can say according to that command. Now second thing is variable. Variable are used to store different type of data into block of memories. For example when you start game then your HP is at maximum level uh, that is 100 and if you will get hit by enemy then your HP will be decreased by 10 and will become 90. Now what happened behind the scenes? Let's see at a starting an HP variable value is stored as 100 and if enemy will hit you then function for hit will be called and HP variable will be decreased by 10 and value of HP variable will be updated as 100 minus 10 is equal to 90. Variable are common method to store data and they can hold different type of data like numbers, floating values, strings, single characters, uh, boolean values like uh, true or false etc. Now let's move to our main part that is hacking game. We will need software called Cheat Engine so we will go to www.cheatengine.org website and we will click on that big download Cheat Engine button then another big button says click here to start their download will appear click on it and wait until downloading will be completed i have already downloaded so now open folder where cheat engine setup is downloaded click on setup file and click yes if asked for administrator's permission and simply install it and click on finish and open it First time after installation, it will ask to guide you to use the software. If you again want to visit Cheat Engine tutorial, then click on help menu from top and click on that uh, Cheat Engine tutorial or Cheat Engine tutorial 64 bit. I prefer to try this at least once to fully understand Cheat Engine's all functionalities. Now we will hack the simple program that we have seen already in previous part of this tutorial. So I'm gonna open it. Now open Cheat Engine, click on the open process icon that is the top left with the computer icon and select the process of that program and click on open. 
If we will click on hit me then it will show us previous HP and current HP. Now as you can see current HP is 90 so we will enter 90 in this field and keep rest of the settings default because we are exactly searching for 90 so exact value is selected and numbers are generally in 4 bytes so keep 4 bytes in value type if we are searching for binary numbers floating numbers or string or any other kind of value then we can select value type whenever it needed if you don't know the value type there is also an option to show us each and every type of value and keep rest of the setting default and and click on first scan as you can see I have got lots of addresses where 90 is stored as a value now again we will click on hit me our previous score was 90 and current score is 80 so this time I will enter 80 and click on next scan or press enter now I have got the single address in which one variable holds 80 as a value now I'm gonna change it double click on it and as you can see this is added in the table below double click on that value 80 as you can see dialog box is opened and enter how much HP you want I'm entering here 810 so when I will click on hit me then my current HP will become 800 now again click on hit me as you can see we have successfully modified that value and now we got 800 HP now let's do something more cool I have made a simple FPS game using unity 3d so I'm gonna open it right now and game does not seem very cool but we can perform our hack on it let's take a ammo we have 10 bullets loaded and another 20 bullets in my pocket so I'm gonna hack that loaded bullets so again open cheat engine and select the process as I have already told you now search for 10 as we have 10 bullets in loaded magazine we found too many addresses again so uh, we will use one or two bullets now I have 8 bullets so I will enter 8 and enter now we found 4 addresses again we will use some more bullets now I am entering my current bullet value I found 3 addresses as a result we will do the same process again and again until we find 1 to 3 addresses And now I have three addresses as you could see I did the same process two to three times but getting three addresses again and again as a result. So now I will add all of them by select all, right click and add selected addresses to address list. Now I will change all of them's value. Now let's, uh, let's look at the current bullet in game. Yeah. We got 1000 bullets loaded. We have successfully hacked this game and our video ends here. I'll made uh, more video on game hacking. You may like it. I hope you guys understood whole tutorial and come to know that why programming is necessary to become a good ethical hacker. And don't forget to subscribe us and give us a big thumbs up if you like our video and share it and comment if you have any query. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye bye.